Alrighty, hello and welcome back everybody. We are on to quarterfinal number three. This one is Pegasus versus Healer. Uh, this is the first of the season five winner matches. So this is uh, Pegasus and uh, Angelhorn, who were our community vote-ins, uh, versus the two people who made it to the top of the leaderboard for season five, phase one, who weren't already in this competition. Which was Healer007 here and uh, XX Blaze Blue, I believe, was the other one. Uh, let's kick things off and see where we stand. So Pegasus is on the top and Healer is on the bottom here. Um, so Healer going first in game one. Pegasus swapping out a large amount of his hand there. See what healer's got. Wolf straight away, followed by Blacksmith. Love the emotes. I'll swap over to Pegasus' side of you. <laughs> I do have the I do have the split screen, Lumpy, but I'm trying not to use it very much. It's very difficult to see what's going on, other than for seeing the hand at the start, which I think is quite useful. Um, see Pegasus dropping in some lava straight away. Lot of lava straight away, straight into a 275 and a haste. Very, very strong there. Fast play. Oh, Pegasus plays very fast. It's like speed chess. If you go quickly, you don't have time for people to realize your mistakes. Healer dropping a lava, getting 3-5 down as well. It's interesting, a lot of people seem to like this card, but I've not seen anyone use the actual healing mechanic on it yet. I'm wondering if there's just not enough fast-paced healing cards for people to really drop in or not. So I, can, I skipped an entire turn there. Sorry, Peg. I missed your whole turn. Blaze is quick. Pegasus audio a bit, if that's a bit loud. Mm, Pegasus being the only one with actually any noise this time. Oh, you guys are making it very hard to keep up. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I can't look at technical difficulties because I missed two turns. Just getting rid of that rage. And then dropping a bushwhack. Is he going to pump his defense card? He is. And then he's going to swing three for the face. Very solid play. I definitely do. Definitely do. Uh, peg dropping. Just one of his acolytes in there and just starting to whittle his way through that taunt. Sacrificing her end just to deal with that. Dropping her age and getting some damage to the face. How is Pegasus going to respond? He's playing Callisto here, but I haven't seen many of the beasts yet. I'm wondering if they're showing up later in the deck. And the moment is just copies and copies and copies and copies of this Acolyte. There's 11 damage on the board, though. It is quite a scary sight if you don't have many board clears in your deck. Just having to do it the old-fashioned way and punch things in the face. on just the one card draw, not many centaurs available, so better than nothing, though 5-5 five, five is still quite threatening. Oh, there's another one of the beasts. There's one in hand. Is it happening? Yeah, 
Yeah, just dealing with that car. I don't want to be dealing with this effect. Just get rid of it. Valid choice. Heal drumming a big seven lava card on pace there and just keeping control of the board state and ending their turn. There are beasts in your deck, I see Pegasus. Just didn't have them at the start of the game. Bit of a mirror match going on here. How do they want to deal with this, I wonder? A lot of options in hand for the healer at the moment. It's a lot to work with. Especially when Pegasus is down to two cards in hand at the moment. They've good to keep their options open. Yep, just really threaten the board state. Not even bother going to control, just really, really pressure and make him make the choices. I like it. It's aggressive play. He hasn't used his Vulcanite ability yet, and the more you can pressure him into that before you can use it, the better. Oh, here come the beasts. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you're under all of them, and a bear and a wolf, and activate the wood. Hey. Interesting, he chose not to play that one. Oh, he'll have a quick DC there, but coming back. Alright. Do you counteract that Callisto play? <laughs> yep, just choosing to undo what Pegasus did there. It doesn't help deal with the six cards on the board, but it does stop some of the bonus. Down to 10 health, the pressure's on here. He's going to have to start picking away at these 5 health, 4 health, 4 health. It's going to take a long time to deal with them. Just get a defense down by himself some time. Funeral bars as well. Yep, buff everything up. Nice choice there. Would have been better to play that earlier. No, it wouldn't have made any difference to the number of cards it would cost. Just go for the swing of the face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Fantastic swamp gas there. Love it. Absolutely brutal play. A lot of the beasts are just on the weaker end there that really, really do get impacted if you get them down to two health. And just deal with that, and the immunity is gone. What's your response, Pegasus? Not a lot in hand. Uh, nothing worth throwing that at. Mm. Oh, is this it? What's he got? Yep. Buy yourself a little bit of time there. Just one less damage. Yeah, got two defenders out, but I don't know if it's going to matter. And a swing, and a swing, and oh no, there it is. It's an undead drawn. Heart of the cards. You Yu Yu-Gi-Oh would it. Am I allowed to say that? You Yu Yu-Gi-Oh would it. Good game. First round to healer. What a start. No changes to the deck there from Pegasus. Just going to jump straight back into round two. Nothing from Healer either. Both happy to just jump on in. Making sure they pick the right deck. Always good. Double check after the previous two mistakes. I don't blame you. <laughs> Oh, 
have we got here? So, that's some strong cards. Pegasus keeping the Lava Guard. Got another one. That's all. Oh, that's a good hand there. Healer just debating whether swapping just one card out. Got Lava as well. That is very good. It was first. It was over to Pegasus. Right. Freezer Boreas there. He opted to not play anything. Alright. <clears throat> Full over into the end and into the blacksmith. Seven damage and eight health out, turn one. Very good considering Pegasus didn't play anything, so he is now on the back foot. He's got two lava cards, he does have options. Does he want to do the mammoth? Does he want to just jump straight up? That is the question. Yep, you're right. Yeah, it was that, that Breeze of Boreas that, that cost you there, not being able to play anything. I don't know if you kept the right opening hand or not, but... Oh, and then a Chiron follow-up from Healer. This is a really, really strong play. I just blinked and there's a Kobloy appeared and, and an undead. Shade Warrior deal with that mammoth and then swing seven at the face. Oh, absolutely no, no restraint here from Healer. Pegasus is trying to buy a bit of time dropping Swamp Gaff. Hasn't done anything more than tickle that guy on. And replying with their own Acolyte double down and then nothing else passing the turn. I guess going to re respond in kind with two acolytes. Still not able to use his Callisto ability. Not enough beasts in his opening turns. God, this is a very fast game. I need like seven eyes and two brains. Is he just going to trade like for like or is he just going to keep pressuring? He's just going to keep pressuring him. There we go. Oh no, doing a little bit of a trade there, offering him a small kindness, teasing it out. One more turn. Does he have a taunt in hand? He doesn't. He does have a funeral barge. He can't get to it. He's got no lava. Oh, peg. That is unfortunate. Is there anything you can do here? No. No. It's just, just nothing you can do. Oh. Game. GG. Oh, Hila, that was brutal. That was. That was brutal. I'm sorry, Pegasus. <laughs> we had to watch that. Wow. What a game, though, guys. Well played, everyone. Um, We do have a third quarterfinal. We've got uh, Angel Horn versus uh, Blaze Blue. But I've had some issues with the footage on that one. So uh, we're going to end the stream here tonight and we will pick that one up uh, probably tomorrow or maybe over the weekend. I will let you guys know on Discord. Thank you everyone for stopping by. We've had three of the quarterfinal matches played now. Uh, we're getting that much closer to finding out who's going to be in London. I hope you guys enjoyed my waffling. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next one.